Welcome back to another review. Uh, this is uh, going to be a review of uh, Future Sound of London's ISDN album. It's a it's a compilation of uh, live broadcasts that they did um, between '94 and '95 um, through ISDN, which is through telephone wires. Um, uh, back then, that it was uh, actual uh, new technology. Obviously, right now we got DSL, but um, uh, yeah, back then they they uh, made all these um, uh, concerts through telephone wires, and the Guinness Book the the. <laughs> Uh, Future Sound of London is in the Guinness Book of World Records for being the first um, group to uh, broadcast over ISDN or over telephone wires and also the first group to um, uh, tour the world without leaving their studio. <laughs> anyway, um, some uh, chamomile tea delicious and uh, all right so let's get into the music uh, there's 15 tracks uh, it's similar to life forms although this one has a lot of more break beats there's a little bit of hip-hop some acid jazz I would probably say uh, experimental techno a lot of beautiful ambient um, atmospheres as life forms was but uh, this one is obviously um, live recordings and uh, so the songs that uh, are really good uh, the first one is really nice um, just beep 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 idiot <laughs> um, that, that's a good song. Um, the Far Out Son of Lung and ram Ramblings of a Madman. Um, so at the beginning of the track, you hear some uh, person mumbling and complaining. And then uh, there's the the track is kind of a kind of a jazzy, um, distorted distorted song. Uh, there's someone messing with the baseball uh like baseball the switch that distorts the sounds and uh it's it's okay i i don't like that song too much but uh appendage let's see appendage appendage the third track is an ambient track and then slider is a seven minute 22 second song which is very good I, I really like it a lot um smoking uh smoking japanese babe that's a um kind of a down tempo ambient song and uh you're creeping me out is an ambient down tempo song but another one uh eyes pop um skin explodes everyone Everybody did. That song has um, some uh, samples from the movie, um, the one with uh, Emilio Estevez in it. What what is it called? Uh, it's a classic. Um, it'll come back to me. Um, <laughs> so eyes. Uh, let's see. There's a delicate, it's a delicate melody, a synthesizer playing uh, on the eyes, eyes pop skin explodes, everybody did. You would think that that would be a very um, crazy song, like very um, energetic, but it isn't. It's exactly the opposite. It's very calming. Um, okay, Repo Man. That's the, that's the movie that uh, there's a there's a quote in that uh, song that you'll hear if you listen carefully um it's my mind that works uh that's a piano 
you, you can hear some piano playing with ambient sounds. And I mean, when I say ambient sounds, these are atmospheric ambient sounds that are just just flow through you as you, as you listen to them. I, they're very, very nice, very beautiful. Um, so then, um, let's see. Uh, next song, there's... Uh, uh, it's my mind that works. Let's see, and then, then dirty shadows. That's uh, that's the one where you can hear the guy saying, "Come fly, share my wings." <laughs> and uh, it's another kind of a breakbeat, uh, ambient down tempo song. And uh, let's see, after that, there's the song called "Tired," and that one. Uh, uh, it sounds like there's someone playing a sitar in it or, you know, some kind of string instru instruments. You can slightly hear it in the beginning. <laughs> and then at the very end of Tired, there's all these frogs in a swamp. You can hear these frogs um, communicating with one another, you know. And it, it's pr pretty good. I actually like it. Um, the next one, Egypt. Uh, it's uh, that one is actually has some singing in it. Uh, there's a woman singing in a foreign language, so it doesn't really say what kind of language. If you know the language that she's singing in, uh, put it down in the comments. Um, what uh, since it's called Egypt, maybe from Egypt. Uh, what are the I know there's several languages in Egypt, but if you know the if you if you know what she's singing, let us know in the comments. Um, after Egypt, there's uh, Kai K A I. Um, that's a that's a kind of a very down tempo song. I, you hear a flute, a real flute playing in the song. Uh, there's a little bit of scratching. Like DJ scratching, and then uh, uh, the next song, Amoeba. Uh, it is um, Amoeba. I don't really have much to say about Amoeba. I mean, other than it's another down tempo song. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, the next one, uh, a study of six guitars. You can hear uh, very light guitar playing in the song. It's it's pretty good. I like it. Um, and then the very last song, Snake Hips, which is to me a very cool song. It's it's got some. It, it sounds like it. It starts off with hip hop, a kind of a hip hop beat. There's no like hip hop uh, rhyming or or you know. Um, so it has a hip hop beat and then it's ambient and throughout the song it there's you can hear these electrical you know uh, currents and uh, it's it's pretty good I mean I um, out of the 15 songs there's uh, I believe seven songs that are five minutes or over and then the others the shortest song on the album is two minutes long, two minutes and 26 seconds. That's appendage. Um, so this this album is a classic for a lot of uh, future Sound of London fans. Um, they really like it a lot, and I can see where they they're coming from. I mean, the, if if you would compare this to another work of of theirs is it's like life forms just with a little bit more breakbeat and kind of hip-hop beats uh, it's more it's more uh, more engaging in ways uh, that life forms is amazing but but this one is uh, yet another beautiful beautiful album that they created and uh, the, the the one thing that is 
the most interesting about this is that they all of these songs that you hear on this album were broadcast through telephone wires by through ISDN so uh, if you if you enjoy this review uh, please give it a thumbs up subscribe comment down below if tell us what songs you like if you heard the song if you um, I've, I've read a lot of comments people that say that uh, that they you know they treat the CD with uh, the utmost care because it's you know they, they don't want it to get scratched or anything because they they, they love the piece um, so Brian Dugans and uh, Brian Dugans and uh, Cobain Gary Cobain and Robert Fripp plays on some tracks too and and there's a, like a plethora I mean like so many so many different kinds of uh, of uh, samples from movies from other songs but they're mostly like instrumental there's no the only singing the outright singing on this album is through uh, Egypt and it's a lady singing in a foreign language so anyways um, I, I love this loved this uh, listening to this album I listened to it twice the first time just st straight from beginning to end and then the second time I I, I listened to the songs um, individually you know all 15 songs and if you're asking which which edition I I listen to I listen to the second edition because it looks like there's a first edition and a second edition which is not quite you know uh, would would which have uh, some different songs uh, if you if you compare this first and second edition um, all right well I hope you like this uh, review and uh, it's like uh, the white album like the Beatles you know like the Beatles have p put out the white album well future sound of London put out this the cover art is just a white clean slate with s f s o l i s d n that's it <laughs> So yeah, it's their equivalent of of uh, uh, you know the Beatles White Album where they 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 just uh, experimented as much as possible. Anyways, till next time, have a good time and uh, hope you uh, enjoy these reviews. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.